Greetings class, I hope I find you well. Thank you for tuning in uh, to your favorite channel. Uh, before we can start our lesson, I kindly ask you, uh, if you are watching for the first time, to click the subscription button below so that you don't miss uh, new videos uh, when posted. In today's lesson, we are going to be focusing on method of differences. Method of difference is a method uh, which is used um, to, to find the sum uh, of series uh, that are too long. You can encounter a question like summation of 1 over r plus 1 times r plus 2. And they want you to, to add uh, this uh, series up to the nth term. They want you to prove that the sum of this uh, series is going to give you n minus 2 divided by 4 open brackets uh, n plus 2. So we make use of method of uh, differences. Right, so the first thing that you do, uh, you need to convert uh, this fraction uh, 1 over r plus 1, r plus 2 is a is a partial fraction, right? So you are going to say one over r plus one, open bracket, uh, r plus two is identical to, you can notice that these denominators, they represent our linear factors, right? So you are saying it's close to a over r plus one plus b over uh, r plus 2. We now want to find the value of a and the value of b, right? So you simply say r plus 1 into r plus 1, they cancel off each other, you'll be left with r plus 2. So a is going to multiply r plus 2, then you say plus b, r plus 2 into the LCM, you'll be left with r plus 1, so b is going to multiply r plus 1. This is identical to the numerator on our fraction, which is 1, right? So we now want to eliminate um, a B so that we can find A. You find a value that when placed on R, this entire bracket becomes 0. So we can eliminate uh, this bracket when R is close to minus 1. Remember, minus 1 plus 1, you get 0, and you'll be able to eliminate B. So as to find A. So if R is equals to minus 1, in this bracket you get uh, minus 1 plus 2 uh, is equals to 1, right? So what is minus 1 plus 2? You get uh, 1. Then 1 times A, it gives you A is equals to 1. We have managed to find the value of A. To find the value of b, we need to eliminate a. So you need to find the number which is going to be plugged onto r so that this entire bracket becomes 0. And the number is r is equals to minus 2. When we put minus 2, you get minus 2 plus 2, and this bracket becomes 0. So it assists us to find b. Putting minus 2 here, you get minus 2 uh, plus 1 is equals to 1. Minus 2 plus 1, it gives you minus 1. So you get uh, minus b is equals to 1. If you divide both sides by minus 1, you get b uh, is equals to minus 1. So we now know that a is 1 and b is minus 1. So we now want to prove that this fraction is going to, to give us this sum, this uh, sum of the nth term. I hope you are following. Right. So according to the method of differences, uh, you are going to find the first three terms or the first four terms of the series. Then you find the last three terms of the series. After that, you'll be able to identify the terms which are going to cancel off each other for you to be able to identify the sum. Right. So not every question uh, which starts with R is equals to 1 to find the first term. The number below the summation is going to guide you on how the first term is going to be obtained. 
You can notice that under the summation, you have got R is equals to 3. It means the first term is located when R is equals to 3. But if it was R is equals to 1, it means to find the first term, you put 1 on R. But here, we have 3, meaning to say to find the first term, we are going to plug 3 on R. So I'm going to start by identifying the first term. Putting 3, the first term is going to be located when R is equal to 3. So if we put 3 on R, you get 1 over 3 plus 1, it gives you 4. Minus 3 plus 2, you get 5. So this is 1 minus uh, 1 over 5. So this is our, our first term. I hope you are following. Then I'm going to put a plus. I'm going to put a plus to indicate continuation. It means the second term is now located when R is equal to 4. So I'm going to put 4. Uh, let me put a line like this. Right. This is, these are the terms and this is the location. So if we put 4 on R, you get 4 plus 1, which is 5. So this is 1 over 5. Then you are now putting 4 on R on the right side. 4 plus um, 2, you get 6. So on the left side, you get a 1 over 6. I hope you are following class. Then to find the third term, the third term is located uh, when R is equal to 5. So this plus, it means I am adding the previous term with the third term to indicate continuation. I'm going to put 5 on R on the left side. 5 plus 1, you get 6. So the fraction becomes uh, 1 over 6. Then if, if we put um, 5 uh, on R on the right side, you are going to get 5 plus 2, which is 7. You get uh, 1 over 7. I hope you are following. So the first three terms are enough to see uh, the terms which are going to cancel off each other. You can notice that Minus 1 over 5 and plus 1 over 5 are going to cancel off each other diagonally. Minus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6 are also going to cancel off each other uh, diagonally. It means if we are to get the fourth term, which is R is equal to 6, you will notice that we are going to get 1 over 7. If you put 6 on R, you get 1 over 7. Then if you put 6 on R on the right side, it's uh, 6 plus 2, uh, it gives you uh, 1 over 8. So there is a pattern of identical numbers which are going to cancel off each other. I hope you are following. Right, so we have found the first four terms of the series, though the first three terms were enough to identify those terms. We now want to find the last three terms of the series. Right, I hope you are following class. So here I'm going to put uh, three spots to indicate that there are many terms in between the fourth term and the last term. Right, I now want to find uh, the last three terms of the series. So remember, N is going to help you to find the last term of the series. So to find the last three terms of the series, the third from last is going to be located when R is equals to n minus 2. When R is equals to n minus 2. So I'm going to substitute n minus 2 on R. So what is n minus 2 plus 1? n minus 2 plus 1. Minus 2 plus 1, you get minus 1. So the left side becomes 1 over n minus 1. If we are to plug n minus 2 on R, you get 1 over n minus 1. Then you put a negative sign. We are now substituting n minus 2 on the right side. So we are simply saying n minus 2 on R plus this 2. Minus 2 plus 2 get 0. So on the right side, you get uh, 1 over n. If you substitute n minus 2 uh, on R, then to find the second from last, it is going to be obtained when R takes N minus 1. I hope you are following. 
So we are substituting n minus 1 on the left side. If you say n minus 1 here, plus 1, minus 1 plus 1, you get 0. You'll be left with n. So this is 1 over n uh, on the left side. Then we are now substituting n minus 1 on the right side. So you get n minus 1 plus 2, which gives you n plus 1 n minus 1 plus 2, you get n plus 1. Then the last term is going to be obtained when r is equals to n. Remember, n is the uh, number above the summation, indicating that the last term is going to be located when r is equals to n. So you simply put n on r on the left, you get 1 over uh, n plus 1, then minus 1 over n plus 2, something like this. Right, so I now want to cancel off identical uh, numbers or identical terms where one of the identical terms is negative and the other is positive. So minus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5, they give you 0. So these terms, they cancel off each other. Minus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6, you get 0. Minus 1 over 7 plus 1 over 7, you get 0. So let us proceed. On the last three terms, you can notice that minus 1 over n and 1 over n, they cancel off each other. Then minus 1 over n plus 1, n plus 1 over n plus 1, they also cancel off uh, each other. I hope you are following. Right, so all the terms which are below the first diagonal and above the last diagonal, they give you zero. They cancel off each other. I want you to listen. All the terms which are below, which are below the first diagonal and above this last diagonal, they sum up to zero. They cancel off each other. So there are terms which are not going to cancel off each other here. Yeah? Uh, the first term is one quarter, uh, and the other term, which is not going to cancel off each other, is minus one over uh, n plus uh, two, uh, something like this. So I now want to express this uh, as a single fraction. You first of all find the LCM. The LCM here is four. Uh, n plus 2. So 4 into 4 n plus 2 get n plus 2. n plus 2 multiplies 1. So this is 1 over uh, n plus 2, uh, something like this. Then uh, n plus 2 into this LCM will be left out with 4. And this 4 is going to multiply this 1. So you say uh, minus uh, 4. Right. Then we want to remove this bracket. 1 times n. 1 times n, you get n. Then 1 times 2, you get 2. Then you say uh, minus 4. All over 2, 4, open bracket, uh, n plus 2. Right. Then 2 minus 4, I like terms, which gives you minus 2 uh, over 4, uh, n plus 2. And this is your uh, final answer. You are now warm and dry. So this is how you go about it. I hope you are listening class.